In this video, I'm going to show you how a user can invite Teams Rooms to a meeting. So we'll do that using Outlook on the web, because that one's got the most updated features for me to show. So in Outlook, I click down here on Calendar, and then I click on New Event. And here I can add a title, so we'll call it Status Meeting. I can invite attendees, so we'll invite Megan. And uh, we'll pick one of these auto-recommended free times. But here's the thing. Search for a room or location. Uh, first, let me make it a Teams meeting. Don't forget to do that. Now, search for a room or location. I can click on here. I'm, it gives some recommendations out of the gate, but I'm going to browse for more rooms. And now, this is where that distribution groups and places comes into play. So I can select the room list. There are many here, or I can type one in if I happen to go for a different location. So for example, in Amsterdam, I could pick this conference room. But for this example, we'll stay with these Tampa Bay area rooms. So these are the three rooms available in Tampa Bay. And if we look down here, it'll tell us that there are some things there, that capacity is 12, there are speakers, there's a display, there's things like that. So I can filter on capacity here. So if there were, say, 20, 30, 50 rooms, so let's say I want 10 person capacity and immediately it's filtered it down to the one conference room that's available. If I reset that to one. Now, I can pick any floor in, in this building or just those on the eighth floor or just the, those on the ninth floor. So here we see there's differences. You can filter on eighth floor or ninth floor. We'll go back to any. Then we can pick features. So let's say I need an accessible room on the eighth floor that narrows it down to two and the capacity is say eight. And that gives me the room that best meets my criteria. And that's available. So this will also filter out if rooms are not available at this time between 11.30 and noon. So that's where the distribution groups and the places come in handy. One other thing in Outlook on the web is you can invite two conference rooms. So for example, if this were an international meeting and I did want to invite that room in Amsterdam, I can invite it as a second room. Now this feature is going to come to Outlook desktop. It's available right now for Outlook on the web. Same with this places is only available today as I'm recording this in Outlook on the web, but it is scheduled to go to Outlook on the desktop. And now I send off my invitation and we're good to go.